In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your own cloud storage on a Raspberry Pi for free. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. Hey what's up guys it's Hithya back with another video and today we are going to set up a free cloud server with the help of a Raspberry Pi. With this you'll be able to access all your files which are onto the hard drive or pen drive over the internet. For this project you'll require a Raspberry Pi, an external hard drive or a thumb drive and a router with a good internet connection. The first step is to install a fresh copy of Raspbian Jesse onto the SD card and connect the Pi to the router via a Ethernet cable for best transfer speeds. Also connect the hard drive to your Raspberry Pi via a high speed USB cable. Once that is done, we can move ahead to our trusted computer and SSH into the Pi. Upgrade and update the Pi to the latest version with these commands. All the list of commands will be given in the description below. Now we need a server and PHP, so we are going to install Apache 2 server and PHP 5.0. Once done, start the Apache 2 server. For the web application which will be used for accessing all the files, we are going to be using Code Explorer. Now this is a free to use and it is available on GitHub. This copy Code Explorer's git link and git clone it in slash var slash www slash html of the Raspberry Pi. Once that is done, you can go to your Raspberry Pi's IP address and set up your account for Code Explorer. So the setup on Raspberry Pi is done and now only one thing is left that is port forwarding. Port forwarding is used to access your Pi from outside your internal network with your public IP address. I have made a detailed video on how to do port forwarding so click on the i button to check it out. Once you have done port forwarding, you are good to go. Now you can easily access your Raspberry Pi and the hard drive attached to it via your public IP address. And there you have your own cloud storage. Now you can easily upload and download files directly from your personal cloud. You can also edit documents that are onto the drive. There are a lot of features in this code explorer that are very useful. So don't forget to explore the code explorer. So if you guys enjoyed this short video then please make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos like this. Thanks for watching guys, this is Asit and you are watching Tech Fusion.